Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the Three Beats channel. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing something a bit different on the channel. If you've been on YouTube for a while, you know there's these things called tier lists. Tier lists are done for things such as foods, drinks, things like that on YouTube. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to put our own spin on it. We're going to make a music producer tier list. And essentially I'm going to make this based on who's got the best producing complexity. Because obviously most of these producers are platinum selling artists. So it's hard to differentiate them if they're all such high level. So I'm going to instead differentiate them in their producing styles and my preferred producing style from them so for instance their beats are more complex and there's more sections in them then I'll put them higher and if their beats are quite simple and quite repetitive throughout the song I'm gonna put them a bit lower so on the screen here we've got all the tiers so we've got God and this is self-explanatory God tier just top level producer no one is higher than them in terms of producer levels elite is very good they're not quite God tier obviously but higher than the very good tier the very good tier is kind of the mid tier so this is like producers that are very good you know they've had very good placements they've had a lot of work done they've got a load of sales and things like that because of their producing power and not just because of the fact that they had a big artist on their beat and decent self-explanatory it's not at the level of the other producers but it's also not really that bad and then average is just your average producer these are going to be beats that are quite repetitive they're not very imaginative this is all going to be opinionated so if i put a producer a bit lower or a bit higher than you expect it to be then that's just my opinion and if you do have a producer either higher or lower let me know in the comment section down below i'll be sure to reply to you and tell you why i put these producers either higher or lower but yeah without further ado let's get on to this tier list video try to make sure that I included producers that I have listened to quite a lot so they won't be producers that I've listened to one song and I'm going to judge them off that because maybe their work might be better or worse than another beat and of course I'm not the most experienced in hearing their beats so I'm just going to include in beat producers that I've listened to many times before and I know what their general kind of gist is. First off we're going to start with Beat Freaks now these two I think are brothers they're, some, they're related in some way and uh, they're a UK producer group. They've produced many different beats in the UK, most notably as Motorola. Now, if I rank them personally, I think I'd put them around maybe decent to very good. Now, this is going to be the hard thing is going to be where I'm going to be able to differentiate them from very good to decent because obviously there's some producers which just hover between those two places and I, I find it hard to rank these two because they really have made an impact on kind of the UK scene in my opinion. Their beats are generally quite rhythmic and they have a lot of energy in them. So I think personally I'm going to put very good. I'm going to start off with a very good over here because I just feel like they're too good to be put in decent. The next one we've got is Cash Money AP. The beats I've heard and produced has been the one with Enerly Chopper and there's also the one we did with Pop Smoke. In terms of producing power I'm not sure about him. He has got very big placements and those shouldn't be understated but as I said at the start this isn't based on how big the artist was and obviously it does help if you've got a bigger artist on your beat because it shows how far your beats are taken but in terms of producing power I think I'm I feel like I want to put him at decent I'm going to leave him at decent for now just because I feel like he is a very good producer in the sense that he has got very big placements but in terms of his actual beats they're quite repetitive and if you were to listen to it as an instrumental probably wouldn't be as attractive than it would be if you were just listening to it with an artist on it and I do understand that's with some beats obviously that work with this i'm ranking them on based on their pure production power instead of how well they make it fit for an artist now we've got another big one here we've got takey now this guy has got many hits i think he was around 18 years old when he produced that beat for drake personally i think it would be harsh to put him in the decent category or any lower than very good so i'm going to put him in very good for now i might change that around may put him into elite if it does come to it now the next producer we have this is a very big one right here that we've with this is like the top level ones we've got out of all of them this is the producer himself j5 now i just have to put him in the elite tier i can't put him at god yet because i just feel like there hasn't been enough beats from him yet but i feel like elite is the right tier for him his general rhythmic style just works and fits with every beat that he writes for artists and this sort of hip-hop slash afro beat style beats that he makes for artists just fits very well and they just sit with me very well which is why i put him in this elite tier now you might disagree but i just think he is one of the best producers in the uk out of all of them now the next one one, it's a bit of a confusing one here i don't want to be too harsh on jetson but i feel like he's going to be hovering between this average to decent section i just feel like personally his beats are too simple and i'm not saying that that's a bad thing obviously he's made it big with simple beats and music these days does make it with simple beats but in terms of pure producing power i feel like maybe his beats aren't as high tier as some of the people on this list now the next producer probably one of the biggest ones on this tier list the man himself mike dean now i just have to put him in god tier honestly this guy is mental the beats he's produced for travis scott has just been 
absolutely immense. He's worked on basically every single one of his songs on Astro World, and every single one of them was produced with such high level and skill. The beats themselves use so many different synths and things like that. And I wasn't the only producer that worked on Astro World. There were others as well that produced on that album itself, but I think he was the main one, and for that he should be applauded for that. So I'm just going to leave him at God tier just because there's no way that. I can put him any lower than that. Now, next producer, we've got my idol, Nick Mirror, and I've just got to put him in the elite tier. I don't want to put him into God tier because his beats aren't as complex as Mike Dean's. And I think it's just his general producing style is one of the best in the business. If you watch his live streams as well, he could be making a platinum award winning single out of the beats he makes in about five minutes. And for that, we just have to leave him in the elite tier. I've got nothing else to say about him. He's just top tier. And the next producer we've got is another UK producer. We've got Nige. Now, this guy's produced for AJ Tracy, the song butterflies is probably his most famous single that he's produced on and i do like the vibes from his beat and i do like his producing style but i just feel like he could be potentially i might leave him there and i might move tay keith down because i feel like there's too many people in that very good section i personally just enjoy that kind of afrobeat hip-hop style that we've got in the uk more than maybe the tay keith beats we've got now another big one here we've got pierre bourne himself we're going to put this guy in elite just because it's Pierre Bourne. He's one of the best producers, I think, in my opinion. Compared to the people on the elite tier and the god tier, his beats are a lot simpler. However, his beats do personally sit well with me a lot better than they do maybe the other ones that we have on this list. The fact that he's also become an artist in his own right is very applaudable. And the good thing with him is no one can say that the beat is carrying him because he's carrying himself, essentially. So I'm going to have to leave him in that elite tier for obvious reasons. Next producer we've got is Royce David. This is Lil Mosey's producer. He produced a lot of the beats on North's Best, which was Lil Moses' debut album, I think. And I feel like we're going to leave him at very good or decent. I, I, I'm sitting on the fence here with this one as well. I'm going to leave him in very good because I feel like his beats resonate very well with Lil Moses' style. So I'm going to leave him in very good because his beats aren't the most complex thing, but they also work well enough to be able to carry Lil Moses on his song. The next producer we've got is Steel Bangles. This is the one that did AJ Tracy and Most Stack's song fashion week and i think we're going to leave this one in decent just because i feel like even though i've listened to enough of his beats i haven't listened to enough at the same time i don't think he's an amazing producer but i do think he's good enough to be in this tier list to be fair i might leave him in average i'll leave him down here because i feel like he's a good producer but i don't think he's maybe good enough to be put into the same tier as Tay Keith and Cash Money AP but yeah so here's our tier list so far and we've got our final beat makers here or producers. I don't think beat makers should be used as a term in production personally. We've got these two over here, take a day trip, and these lot have to go into the elite tier. And I personally think that because I feel like the way these guys have been able to go from hip hop to pop with Lil Nas X is very applaudable as well. If you listen to their singles from the start when they did one with Mo Bumba and Sheck Wes, and now they've moved on to doing Montero with Lil Nas X, which is a completely different style of beat. I'm gonna put them onto elite because I just feel like their versatility is better than most other producers on this list and i just feel like they're producing power as elites so we're going to leave them in the elite tier and yeah this is our finished tier list let me know in the comment section down below what you change in this tier list i personally think these are all the producers that i put in this order because of my personal musical preference if this video does well i'll do another part two where i'll probably add a few drill producers in there as well thanks for watching this video guys i hope you do enjoy if you did don't forget to leave a like down below comment as well what you'd like to see next on the channel and do also leave a comment as i said earlier let me know what you change in this tier list so yeah thanks for watching a bit of a different video this week and i'll see you in a bit